At 7 a.m., we gather in the church for Office of Readings and Morning Prayer. Eight a.m. is time for breakfast and fellowship. At nine o'clock, we go to the church to pray the rosary. Our mother is the way to his heart and the rosary is the way to her heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When we can turn to her as our mother, as one who knows us so well and who knows humanity um, so well and can bring us to her son, um, who she knows to be God. After the rosary, we immerse ourselves in the word of God. The most important part of our day is the holy sacrifice of the mass. You know, the Eucharist, of course, it's a sacrifice and a thanksgiving. That's what Mass is. And we really just basically live from the Mass to the Mass. At 12 o'clock, we honor Our Lady with the Angelus and then have lunch and free time. We spend the next two hours adoring the Sacred Heart of Jesus in the Eucharist. In the hour of mercy, we offer the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And the Chaplet of Divine Mercy is so powerful because I've, I've heard it um, compared at times to an extension and a unity with the sacrifice of the Mass. That's what we're doing. We're, we're offering Jesus and his sacrifice up to the Father in atonement for the sins of the world. The rest of the afternoon is spent doing works of mercy. During adoration, our Lord so fills our hearts with um, the desire to please Him, the desire to love as we've been loved by Him, um, that uh, the opportunity to go pour out His love and mercy on others is, um, is bliss. When we return, we enjoy dinner and fellowship together. Yeah. <laughs> fellowship is a time that the Lord really knits our hearts together and we become a beautiful family. We grow in a union which is only something He can give. At seven, we unite with the church praying evening prayer and then we offer a prayer honoring the union of the two hearts Following evening prayer is an optional holy hour, and then free time. As we grow in this beautiful order, uh, it's just going to flood this country and, and the whole world as the two hearts desire.